Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome or welcome back to our channel. So, amazing news, splendid revelations, just really um, good vibes. Classes start for me on Monday. By the time you're seeing this, I probably would have already started school. So we can only hope that by then I'm doing all right. If you're seeing this video, then that might be a good sign. But then again, you never know, so check up on me. But yeah, classes are starting and I... What the f is that? I'm sorry, I thought a plane was crashing into my house. False alarm. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I am in no way ready for school to start um, at all. Like mentally, not checked in, not there. I am very much on edge for this whole, you know, back to school sort of situation. I saw this one tweet that was like, mentally I am not enrolled in any classes this semester and I feel that. So we're gonna try and get ready for um, class the best way we can. And I guess we'll see how it goes, because, you know, yes! excited to be a junior at school now. Um, I feel like the first step for really preparing for class is really being 100% present, being ready to take notes, um, ask questions, just generally be a real studious student. You need to have like a really good space to really learn, you know? Because, you know, um, there aren't really classrooms anymore. Um, so you kind of got to act like it and if normally your classrooms are clean when you're taking classes the space You're taking your classes in now should be clean too I don't know if that made sense. We're gonna clean the room basically, <laughs> but before we do that if you're new to the channel subscribe right now because Honestly in this political climate if you're not subscribed then you're basically Okay, so my room is a mess right now and there is no possible way that I can take classes like this. Like, I'm actually worried for my well-being um, if I keep my room like this. And not because of the mess. Like, the mess itself, it's fine. Like, I, I don't care. I'm just really worried about my mother. Because I have a black mom, and messes and black moms just really don't go well together. And I'm really just not trying to get beat by my mom in front of my entire Zoom class just because she walks in and sees a mess in my room. So... Here we are. Um, I apologize for the awful lighting. I don't really know. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Okay, much better. I actually do know something about lighting. And you wanna know how I know? It's all thanks to Skillshare. Oh yes, that's right. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, let me tell you. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare also offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. For me, Skillshare has been a great creative outlet and a way for me to fight off boredom because I literally have so many classes to teach you a wide array of things. And one of my favorite things about Skillshare, especially since school is starting up, is that most of their classes are under 60 minutes long and can fit into almost any schedule. And they also have a great variety of creative classes of topics that you'd actually want to learn about. Now you guys know I would not promote a company if I wouldn't personally use it. And I can tell you right now, I do, and I love it. I've recently been taking some video editing classes from Jordi Vandeput, who's been helping me learn more advanced ways to edit in Adobe Premiere. It's been super fun and informative because I can literally stop and start whenever I want. So if I actually wanna do it along with him, I can. Skillshare has hooked this up with a pretty amazing deal. The first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in my description get a two month free trial of the premium version so you can explore your creativity. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But back to what we're here for. I know that this angle is giving me really short king vibes, like a nice five, three at most. But I promise you, in real life, I am at most six one. And we're just gonna move on before you even get the chance to doubt me. But yeah, we're here in the closet. <laughs> By the closet section of my room. Yeah, we need to clean this up. I don't know if this is just me, but a lot of the time, a lot of the clothes that I got aren't even dirty. They're just from when I wash them and just never put them up. They just kind of sit there. In a sense, it's not really a dirty room. It's just a room filled with clean stuff, which means wouldn't that technically be a clean room? <laughs> Riddle me that. I just really think I'm ahead of my time sometimes. Like I was born in the wrong year. Like I should be in like 3012 right now. I just, I just be coming up with ideas that just no one really is thinking about. And I just don't think they will for a really long time. And that's sort of like my value proposition. That's what that's what I'm bringing to the table. Have you guys tried the TikTok trend where you like put a hanger on your head and see if it like moves your head? I'm gonna try it right now because I refuse to believe that that kind of witchcraft exists. 
in modern day society. Like, you remember that whole broom thing? Like, that broom thing wasn't real. NASA didn't say that. But the locals tried it anyway. This just in, breaking news. My head's too big. I even broke the hanger, like, beforehand, just because I kind of guessed that my noggin was just a little bit too obtuse for this hanger. Um, but I didn't know it'd be this bad. So, all right, let's try it, let's see. Close my eyes. Oh, did you see that? Whoa. TikTok was on to something there. Maybe they're the ones in 3012, who knows? And now that everything's nice and clean, we don't have to worry about my physical safety. But now, the next step to really getting ready for classes is actually getting some class supplies. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Rumi, what back to school supplies do you really need if your classes are all online? And to that I say, you and I just aren't on the same plane because you are just not thinking like I am. In fact, I'm going to give you one of the best back to school supplies lists you've ever seen. And any other video you see is irrelevant because this is about to be that good. All right, you ready? Welcome to what's an emergency's figurative backpack because you know, um, online school. The first and most important item is the laptop. I can't go anywhere without my laptop and that's just something that I hold really dear to my heart. Next up is the mask. The mask is essential even though you're not going anywhere. It's just giving you that real coming of age, mysterious movie type beat. And you can also hide your emotions. So if your teacher is pissing you off or making you contemplate all of your life choices up until this point, they'll never know. Up. Next and finally is the water bottle. The water bottle is an essential, like the other two, but even more essential because it's hydrating. But yeah, that's it. But once you have all those materials, you're pretty much set. You're like good. Um, that's pretty much all you really need for online classes. Now that I have everything, the next big step is just really practicing and rehearsing the lines that I'm going to say when I'm on the Zoom call. Because, you know, I really consider myself a true actor or true talent. Um, and I just never want to really underperform and undersell myself, especially when it's really time to shine in front of my class. So what I like to do personally is hop on photo booth and then just start saying stuff because I feel like this really prepares me for situations in which I just don't know the answer to a question, but really want to make it seem like I do because I'm a communications major and it's our job to communicate. And you don't necessarily need to be right the whole time or really on topic at all, but as long as you're saying words, you're pretty much doing the job because you're basically just being graded to talk, so it doesn't really matter what you say. Hey Streaks, so this is me editing. Um, I actually filmed a whole bit for this and it was like super, super, it was super cute, super amazing, um, but like it deleted. <laughs> I'm angry, <laughs> but here's a little reenactment of what it went. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Be <laughs> beep, beep, boop, boop, yada, yada, yada. Um, teacher, I just asked you for your, I just asked you for what you did. Te teacher, I just asked you for what you did this summer. Zoom call. That's it. All right, back to the regular scheduled programming. And now, some honorable mentions for best practices for online classes. Uh huh. Spicy. Coming up in number three is crying profusely because you're failing your online classes. Number two, oh, well, I guess we're still crying now, I guess, wow. <laughs> Coming in at number two is manifesting good grades in positive vibes and energy. Yes. Coming in at number one is reviewing your syllabi. <laughs> Just kidding. No one does that. Gotcha. And after all that, I think I'm ready for classes to start back up. I think I'll, I'll be good. I'm feeling really, really energized, really passionate, really ready to take on this online semester and um, probably burn out within like a week or two. But like, I'm just like super happy right now. Don't I look happy? Don't I look happy? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like for my self-esteem. Comment down below how you prepare for classes. And um, subscribe if you're new. That, that too. And special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Emergency, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.